Hi, good day everyone. My name is Tony. Yeah, I thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and um, watching my video. I really appreciate your feedbacks and comments and likes. Uh, for some time now, I've not I've not done any video on crypto or power yeah, simply because the market, the cryptocurrency market, has uh, was experiencing a very 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 low volume in the past uh, a month or so. And as a result of that, I, I turned up my, my trading, my crypto upper trading bot. So recently on the 18th of um, these months, yeah, I turned it up, I turned it back on with my new Amstar CDR. And so far it has been performing um, simply because the the bull run day is back and uh, the market is quite doing well. As you can see, it is a cryptocurrency chart. I'm using coin checkup. You can you can give it a try. <clears throat> Check the site and then you will see how the global market is the global cryptocurrency market is fearing. So I turned on I turned on my bot around the 18th when I when I'm pretty sure that the market is a when I was pretty sure that the market is back on the bull run because it doesn't really make any sense trading in the in the bear market because the signals that will be coming in are not quite uh, it's going to create a lot of bugs for you and thereby holding down your btc so so far um i've been able to grow the account in the last four days to over four percent using a uh, uh, mining amster signals so yeah in this video i will like I will, i'm going to talk about a couple of things the new settings have been the new configurations and new settings have been added to crypto upper bots i'll be going through this i'll be going through how to get a good signal signaler and the triggers i'll talk about triggers yeah so basically this is my trade stats my trade history so far in the last four days I came in back to the market 18th April, 18th April, around here. I've been using mining Amster signal. Yeah, with crypto upper, you can use the 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 inbuilt technical analysis technical analysis analysis uh, signal within the crypto upper, or you can choose to op opt for the for professional signals. So here, if I take this out, okay, you can use multiple TA factors. TA actually means technical analysis. So using Boliga Band, RSI, Stock. If you, if you come in here, advance, you see the various strategies, Stochastic, Stochastic, RSI, MACD, MA, Kama, SME, Bollinger Band, all sort. But presently, I'm not, I'm not using that. I'm using the signaler. And basically, the reason why I'm using a signaler is because the cryptocurrency market is quite a volatile market and to actually get the correct settings or the correct uh, trade configuration that will consistently give you profit you need to be aware of the fundamental analysis that drives the market the market is full of pumps and dumps which are fundamental things that affect the market so using only technical analysis though may not guarantee consistent profit because the market changes, it's quite dynamic. It changes every time. So that's why I employ the services of the, the signalers, the signal, you call, the, the, the external signal providers that are integrated into your crypto upper that can provide signals for you. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. I've used, I'm using Mining Amster Signal. I've used Crypto Grower, they're both good. Mining Amster Signal is about the best on crypto upper. And crypto crypto grower is also very good. So these crypto quality signals, they are free. There are other free signal, but I personally choose not to use the free ones. And there are some ten dollars, six dollars. Mining I'm starting six dollars per month, so which is quite reasonable for me. And that's why I'm using them. And so far, they've been giving me good signal. And um, couple with the fact that the 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 market, the market is in a is in a is the market is bullish presently so it's it's a 
it's a, it's an added advantage that the signals or the, the, the added, added it's an added um, confirmation that most of the signals will work out very well. So the reason why I'm not using the multiple TAs only is because the dynamism and the volatility of the market and the manipulations in the cryptocurrency market is quite massive. It's not like the Forex or the stock market where they don't allow all those uh, manipulation or insider trade, trading. But a, co a couple of guys can come together on telegrams and decide to pump and dump the market, which your TA, your technical analysis may not effectively analyze for you. So that is why I'm opting for the, the external signalers that I use. So presently I'm using for my Binance account and I'm using the A package. So basically that, that uh, I'm still going to create another account for my TA. I'm not actually undermining TA. You can use TA technical analysis. It's very good too, but it's not in the in a, in a fundamental in a fundamental analysis or in a fundamental fundamental market where the the reason for a pump or a dump cannot be explained mathematically or using RSI or using Bollinger Band where there is a pump, where there is a dump, or when there is a news against the Bitcoin. You know, the technical analysis may not effectively give you a good signal. But using that external signal will help you because these guys are professionals. They are combining their technical analysis and the fundamental analysis of what is happening in the market. So using your technical analysis, your TAs, your multiple TAs, you need to be tweaking and changing the settings on over and over again. So I don't really have time to do all those. So that's why I'm opting for external signal providers. Yeah. So having said that, uh, there are a couple of changes in the in the crypto upper. There's some some additions and which is quite impressive too. Of like um, so presently is a setting I'm using for my Binance and selecting your coins is good. That you use the coin market cap. Use the first. If you are using the A package, if you are using the A package, A package is about $49, $49 per month, gives you maximum of 50 select, selected coins. It gives you max of 50 selected coins and it, it buys within an interval of five, five minutes. So if you are using the A package, how do you know the best coin to select? I normally do that is I go to crypto coin coin cap coin market cap and I look at the first 50 performing coins so and then I I select them and I come here under my config and I select them under available coins there. and I do make sure that available on my Binance too my exchanger so basically that is that, that is how I do that, that is how I select those coins and now okay my percentage profit, I said it at 25. It doesn't really matter because I'm using trading stop loss. And uh, cooldown, enable cooldown, I'm not using. This is a new feature. I'm not using, I'm not really using only one open buy other per coin. Yeah, this enables me. I don't want to buy uh, a particular coin multiple times. So it only buys that coin, one other per coin. And my percentage lower, I, I leave it at 0, 0. Now, yeah, I'm using trailing, trailing stop loss. For you, okay, my trailing stop loss. I'm using a 0.75 for trailing stop loss, and I'm trailing stop loss at three. What this actually means is, if I buy a coin, if I buy a coin at say ten dollars, if I buy a coin at ten dollars and it goes three percent up minimum, then it becomes at thirteen dollars. If it once it gets to $13, this arm trailing stop loss comes into place. It harms it such that if the market drops by 0.75%, if the market drops by 0.75%, meaning if the market drops by by 0.09, by the it takes the profit out for me. So the condition is once the market goes minimum of three percent, once the market goes minimum of three percent, if it comes down by 0 0.75, that is three minus 0 0.75, three percent minus 0 0.75 percent, it takes the profit profit for me at 2.25. So 
I'm constantly tweaking my I'm constantly tweaking my settings, but because I'm in a bull market, the, the cryptocurrency market is currently in a bull market. That is why I'm using these settings. If the market turns bearish, then I'm gonna reduce this figure. I mean make this one 0 0.1.5 and make this one 0 0.3 or 0 0.25. So that's that. So I only say I only want to sell with profit. Sometimes some people have witnesses situation whereby there will be a spike down, and the 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 the, the, the crypto part closes them out in negative one percent or so. So this will enable such thing from happening. It will prevent such it will it prevent such a situation from happening. You only you only sell when your coin is on green. Now trailing stop buy. I don't really need this. Yeah. So basically, open maximum open time to sell 30 minutes is okay. Maximum open time to buy 15 minutes is okay. I don't want to keep waiting until it becomes so expensive before I buy. Especially in the case of pump, pumps and dumps. So and the percentage amount buy amount that's 40 percent of my total, which is 0 0.2 0 0.02. So that's what I'm doing. So I save this settings. This is my configuration. Then you save. This is my personal settings. You can you can choose to. Then you can come to triggers. So I need to explain what triggers means. Basically, what this means is that, like I told you the other time, I've not I've not been trading for some time just because the market has been very bearish and everything was in red. And when the market start picking up again, I came back to the market. What I could have done, or what can be done automatically, is you can put, you can enable your triggers, enable trades, as in to buy when the BTC market is on uptrend. When I mean by BTC uptrend or market uptrend, you know, basically the cryptocurrency market is largely dependent on the price of Bitcoin. If the price of Bitcoin is going up, uh, automatically or directly it, it directly affects the price of the altcoins they keep going up and if the price of BTC, BTC is coming down automatically the price of the altcoin is coming down so the the, the 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 performance of the cryptocurrency market is largely dependent on the price of BTC as it is so if you activate your trigger what it does for you once you click on new what it does for you is you will tell the upper that once the market is down by a certain percentage, the market should, the crypto upper should automatically stop buying. And when the market goes back up by a certain percentage, the crypto upper should continue trading using the external signal. Because in the actual fact, the signal the professional signal signalers, what they do is whether the market is bearish or bullish. They keep sending signals and for you not to hold a lot of bags i mean not to hold a lot of pos positions and negative it's very very important for you to activate your triggers because i'm using the a package i have access to i have the opportunity to use five triggers if you are using kangaroo package you can use 10 triggers now how do you set up this you just come in here you can make you can type it for me the name i give it is enable trades on BTC uptrend, you type it there, and um, okay, let me let me use this. Let me use this. Okay, now enable trades on BTC uptrend. I, I enabled. Now I'm using BTC. You can select any exchange, but I'm using Binance. So select market. So I'm using Theta as a yardstick. What that means is presently the price of BTC is eight thousand nine sixty-five. I'm telling. I'm gonna tell the, the what, what I'm gonna do with this with this uh, trigger is that if the market comes down by starting percentage if you check in here percentage percentage price let's check it in here. if the market comes down by minus okay if the market goes up by plus two percent it should trigger a buy signal it should it should, it should start buying or enable the trade if the market goes down by minus two percent you should stop buying when i get to the disable disable trade on btc downtrend you will see my settings so basically what i'm telling the crypto about to do 
is once the market is moving two percent has gone up two percent let's say the market is at it it's 961 that is then 8961 and i'm telling the crypto part that once the market goes up by one point by two percent to 9140 it should it should enable the sell signal or the buy the buy signal you should do a trade that is what i mean and um you come in here the action to be taken is to set buying status enable you enable it here and then you come in and receive now for the disable we're telling you that which is which is this is very very important we tell you that okay disable trades on btc downtrend what do i mean by btc downtrend presently the market the price of btc is 89.58 and i'll say that if the market if the market is comes down by two percent meaning multiply by nine eight if the market comes to eight thousand seven 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 the crypto upper should disable buying what, what am i telling the crypto upper that on the percentage change of minus two percent less than or equal to two percent the market set buying status to disable so you just set it to disable and that's all you can give it a cool down period of one hour the cool down period actually means after one hour you should check the status of the market again if it, if it has gone up by two percent then it will enable this trigger enable trades on btc uptrend then you save these settings and that is all about the triggers so you come at every point in time i do check my settings based on the market condition so you just keep now these are my personal settings and my journey with crypto upper i'm not recommending that you should do the same settings like i'm doing you can come up with your own better ones and you can actually put in the comment box what you have find found out to work for you but the best the best way of using the crypto upper um, is to to use external signal provider these are professionals look at their results look at their performance come here check out the performance if you're okay with it you can try out the free ones you can try out the paid one personally i'll go for the paid ones so basically that's the latest settings and so far my stats have been off i've been up by 0 0.002 0.0024 which is about um if you come to my dashboard it's about 4.28 so mining upstart doesn't give so much of a signal or any signal that mining upstart gives you it's quite reliable it's quite reliable i've gotten about four signals so far in the last four days and they're all in profit or five or six signals sir. they're all these are the signals i've gotten in the last few days and they're all in profit i've been i've been growing my account gradually and uh, i think it's something you should try out it's very good and it gives you the value for your money so any questions you can put on observations or comments or your discovery please put it in the comment box keep liking my video subscribe for more updates as i'll be tweaking and i'll be sharing my, my journey with you on the crypto upper. please please uh, subscribe and like my my videos and um if you have not uh, subscribed for either of the packages you can subscribe for either but i would advise that you do at least the a package so it gives you more opportunity to trade more and um, you can go for the crypto upper kangaroo package if you if you have a lot of money too but basically the money you are going to be using to trade should be able to cover your your fees which is a uh, 49 dollars for monthly subscription and maybe six or five dollars for your signal Thank you for watching this video. This video will bring you more updates on my crypto journey and my discoveries. Thank you. Bye.